Hey, Ture, how many cars did you repair today? <laughs> What's so funny? Your question. <laughs> Jalo, we fixed 11 today. Went like clockwork. How about your garage? <laughs> how many did you do? Eh? Hey, hold on. Hey, hey. Miss, could we have another round? And you know that you are paying today. But why? <laughs> Our garage put through one more than yours. Ah, no yes, way. 12. <laughs> Not again, no. Yet again, I've beaten you. No, you're just making it 12, up. 12, I tell you. Sure? Dead sure. Well, okay. <sighs> you hear about uh, old Gindo's place? No, I didn't. He's gone out of business. What went wrong? Seems he lost his best mechanics. But how? What do you mean, lost? It was AIDS. What? It was AIDS? Yeah. May they rest in peace. AIDS. It's unbelievable. Listen. Do you know if the guys at your garage have had information about AIDS that's accurate? Judging by their conversations after the weekend, I'd say they know nothing at all about AIDS. Nothing. Zero. So it's the same as at our place. The same? But I guarantee this. During the next week, and I mean in the next week, my guys at the garage are going to get better teaching about AIDS than any other mechanic in the whole town. You are dreaming as usual. <laughs> And we'll be at the head of the field again. You're dreaming as usual. <laughs> Listen to me. Our guys will be champions. Right. How about a bet? What's the bet? You want a bet? I want a bet. In one we'll week. know the most. Put it there. Bet. It's a bet. Hey. Well, hey. Stop there. Ah, hello. Uh, Mr. Jallo? Yes. Uh, how are you? Fine. You? Fine. Good. Introducing the Red Shirts, Team Jallo. Yeah! And on my right, it's Team Toure. Quite ready, gentlemen? Quite ready. Ready. Very well. Best of luck. My first question to Team Toure. Here are two sayings which can be used to speak about wearing condoms. A man who's intelligent and aware regarding AIDS, might say which of these? A. One doesn't eat a banana with its peel still on. B. One should never walk barefoot on an unknown path. Team Toure, for 10 points, you have 10 seconds starting now. We know this. We learned it during the week. Right, Team Toure. Time's up. Your answer. Well, 
<coughs> First with AIDS and speaking about condoms, you'd obviously say the second. Nobody should walk barefoot on an unknown path. Therefore, B. The answer you chose was no one should walk barefoot on an unknown path. And yes, yeah! that's 10 points to yeah! Team yeah! Yeah! Take a good look at these two pictures. In your opinion, is either of these two people living with HIV? And if so, which or neither? Ten points for the correct answer. Hey, hey, what do you think? You just can't tell. Your answer, Team Jallo. Just by looking at pictures like this, it's impossible to tell if either is HIV positive. They could only find out for certain by doing the HIV test. Oh, yes! What a splendid answer! Ten points! Ten points scored by Team Toure takes them into a lead over the Reds of 50-40. Can the Reds draw level again? Get ready. Here we go. We have two pictures. Let's see. Take a good look at them. Which of these two men is using the better strategy for avoiding the transmission of HIV at the barbers? They're both good. Hey, do you see? Look. Here. Your reply, Mr. Jallo? I need your answer now or I have to pass it across. Hey, no. Hey, hold on. Hey, no. Don't mess with us. Well, <clears throat> both these men have come up with an excellent, effective strategy. Quite obviously, this person here has decided he's not seeing a barber again ever in his life. Yes. And this man here has brought his own blade with him unused, so he's taking a strong precaution. That's an excellent answer, Mr. Jallo. The scores are level at 50 each. Fifty-fifty. Fifty points apiece. Boy, oh boy, what a match. Right, well, the rules state in case of a draw, eh? The match is decided by the captains taking... Penalty! A shootout! Let's play. Here you see a series of cards containing questions on various topics. And I will ask our neighborhood leader, Mr. Lega, to choose a card if you please. That's fine. The topic selected is sexually transmitted infections. Or STIs. The first penalty is for... For Mr. Toure. Listen, please. First question. First penalty. Tell us. Two infections transmitted sexually. You have 10 seconds. <clears throat> Gonorrhea and, and syphilis. Gonorrhea and syphilis. Very good. One nil. <laughs> Mr. Jallo, here we go. One, nil. Tell me how do you catch a sexually transmitted infection? You can catch a sexually transmitted infection by having sex without using a condom. In other words, unprotected. Well done, go! One all! <laughs> All right, Mr. Toure, second penalty question. Name two possible symptoms of a sexually transmitted infection in a man. Go ahead. <clears throat> well, <clears throat> among the possible signs are a burning sensation when you urinate. Yes. That's a symptom that's common. And discharges which are abnormal 
from the penis. Wait, I haven't finished. STIs have various symptoms, but all affect the sexual organs in a woman or a man. But watch out. Certain STIs give no sign. What a very good response, Mr. Toure! Yeah! Yeah! Settle down, Mr. Jallo. Two, one. Yes. Tell us two consequences that might follow for a person who refuses to get an STI treated. Understand? Go. An STI not treated might well lead to infertility. That's to say, render a woman or man incapable of having children. Right. Secondly, with some STIs, you should realize that your skin might be damaged. This causes small cuts on the sexual organs. Uh -huh. You mightn't even see them. The AIDS virus can therefore enter the body much more easily during unprotected sexual intercourse. That's sex without a condom. I suppose you think that's cause a point. At least. To all, yes! Hey! All square again. Mr. Tule, is the following true or false? In fact, most sexually transmitted infections can be completely cured. True or false? It's true. But one of the few exceptions for the moment is the HIV infection. Progress is being made, though they still don't have a cure yet. That wins a point, Mr. Toure. Three, two. Mr. Jallo, your third penalty shot. A person believes he's contracted an STI. What should he do first? If a person suspects that he's caught an STI, he should consult a qualified health worker immediately. Is that your final answer? Final answer. Well, that's wonderful! Three all, it's a draw! <laughs> what a match! Oh, yes! What a match! Congratulations! Come here, come on, come up on oh, the stage. Him too. Come on. I'm not sure about all this. Three all, three all! We decided in the event of a draw to declare both of you champions of Africa, world champions! Champions of the universe in the fight against AIDS! The champions! Yeah, yes! Champions! We are the champions! Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, well, has anything changed since our great match a month ago? <laughs> well, quite a lot. Listening to the mechanics on a Monday, I hear the talking they do has changed. Now, I'll hear them talk, and very seriously, about AIDS and its dangers. And it's the same with us. Oh? But of course, we do it better, because we're champions. <laughs> no, we're champions. <laughs> Please, let's get this tightened here. Okay. Gently, gently, gently. Yeah, yeah. that's it. That's enough. Oh, that's enough. <laughs> yes, well, fine. Well, I went to the specialist, and quite quickly they identified the problem and found it was easy to get rid of. I was told to take better care of my machinery. And that was it. Now life's great. Beautiful, thanks. Fine. 